Hey, I'm Mark. I'm Anita. And join us on our 2024 adventure on the Camino de Santiago. Let's go. Another gorgeous day in Spain today. Uh, it's 45 degrees. It's September 18th and day 27. Uh, we had a fun time in Astorga yesterday. That uh, cathedral is something else. Uh, today we have about a 13 mile walk uh, and it's going to be a gradual uh, incline the whole way and then tomorrow is going to be a very steep climb over the mountain. We're starting to see these red crosses on the markers now and this indicates not only the uh, Camino de Santiago but the St. James Way. So if we follow the red crosses and the yellow arrows we should be doing well. Here's Anita and Rachel oh, really? stopping for a coffee and cake. It was delicious. Those. Hola, I am having a drink of gazpacho, which is, I don't know what's in it besides tomatoes and olive oil. And, oh, but it's, I always thought I hated tomato soup or tomato juice. This is wonderful. Mm, delicious. Seems like a lot more people are getting out on the trail, working their way to Santiago. So we're coming into a town today that has a population of 74. And the population probably doubles when all the Pellegrinos or hikers stop for the evening. So this lady no has messages una, from una. the universe. Una. Solo una. Un and <laughs> this is what the universe <laughs> will tell us. <laughs> and we have a translator. <laughs> Beautiful human. This, a veces tus medios y dudas te hacen desconfiar de tu corazón. From time to time, your ways and your doubts make you... Um, not to believe in your heart. Tu Pero tu corazón, corazón es mío. Your heart is mine. Ahora descansa en la paz de tu verdadero corazón. Now, excuse me, I might cry. Oh, you <laughs> might <make me> cry. <laughs> que todo es perfecto que con estés, con yes. tu intuición, tu corazón. Now rest in your heart with peace because it is your true heart. And there you will uh, encounter my wisdom and my uh, my love. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sí, entendiste? Conexión. And here is the hotel La Posada de Gaspar that we're staying in tonight. And that's what we walked up yes, or just now. Here is our hotel room for the night. And then this is our view outside our window. Here is another church that we went in today at the town we're staying at. Here's the altar. Very ornate. Buenos dias, everyone. It's uh, September 19th and day 28 on the trail. Uh, we got an early start, saw a beautiful sunrise and uh, came upon this fountain where you can take your shoes off and soak your feet uh, while you're going up uh, this mountain. And we're gonna go about four to five miles up this mountain to a beautiful cross 
and we'll show that to you in a moment. Hi guys! I'm Mark. I'm, I'm Maria. Maria. And Anita. Anita, hi, yeah. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Starting to see a little more foliage as we uh, get higher and higher. We're going up to the Cross de Ferro, um, one of the f famous and iconic uh, points on the trail. It's actually the highest point except for the Pyrenees on the Camino de Frances. Look at the moss growing on the tree trunks. So we're coming up to the Crux de Ferro, which uh, is a cross that's actually, after a little research, is the highest point, or close to it, to uh, of the Camino de Santiago. It's almost 5,000 feet uh, in elevation. And uh, it originally was uh, erected in the 12th century by a monk. And it's been standing here ever since. And you can see there's a several rocks that people have brought from all around the world to uh, set at the foot of this cross. Look at these ruins. Don't know for sure how old they are, but they're kind of in a circular pattern. And then there's a structure right in the middle where that tree is that probably was a dwelling. The highest point on the Camino, 4,950 feet high. How's the view, Anita? Unbelievable. Windmills on every mountain, gorgeous. So I see our destination is just over the hill. Uh, we've gone a little over 10 miles today, but uh, seven of the miles were uphill and three of them were down a pretty steep uh, decline. So uh, we took it slow and uh, easy on the joints. So this has been probably our hardest day yet. What a cute village we're going through. What's the name of this village, Anita? El Cerdo. El Cerdo. Ah, here is where we're staying. At La Casa de Pellegrino. What do you think, pretty, Anita? This looks pretty nice. My God. Looks fancy. Says it's new. Oh my goodness. Check out that beautiful view of our hotel. distance. Hey, it's September 20th and it's our 29th day walking on the trail. This is where we stayed last night in the middle of the mountains and we're going to continue our travels down to Pomferrado and uh, it's a little hazy down there. Uh, that's because of the Portugal fires and uh, we can even smell a little smoke in the air. Looks like uh, the trail has taken us down into the valley. And it's very brushy here. But there's some good trail maintenance. And uh, you can see that the uh, 
trail has been cleaned off on both sides by weed whackers and did a great job. Look at these beautiful mountains. And we gotta go down that. Oh my gosh. Look at that small town down there. So there they are working on the trail. Do you know the name of this town, Anita? Molinaseca. And the first thing we see is a pretty church alongside the road. And there's the one over here on this side. It's even bigger. Look how beautiful this town is. All right, we come to an interesting tree with some fruit on it. Can anybody identify this fruit? If so, Please put it in the comments below. Here we are getting our first look at Pumpferrata. Wow, how cool is that? This town has a castle. Neat. Let's take a look. Ooh, let's go inside. Here. There's another church. Look how high these walls are. There's a door. Let's go inside. I had to duck my head to get in. in the guest room. Wow. Those look like cannonballs. I wonder if they use those. They're perfectly round. Did they used to launch those from the castle? So those weren't cannonballs, they were catapult balls. And they use something like this to shoot them with. Yeah. Cool, let's go up this oh my God. spiral staircase. What are you guys on in your Castillo? Um, first. first. It's just oh. an okay room. It's not a castle. Are you at the top yet? Yes, and it's, it's we're in the right place. Okay. <laughs> Look at the view from on top of the castle. Buen Camino, Mark and Anita.